Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome to SnowRunner. Uh, today is a special episode, it's episode number 20 and I, I thought it'd be nice if we could celebrate it somehow. So, I was thinking we would uh, make our entry into Smithville Dam with uh, the materials over contract where we need to deliver concrete uh, slabs, which we don't have in this map, but uh, I think we have it in the next one, so we can pick them up from there. Uh, two consumables, which uh, we already took from our uh, friendly farmer here, and one metal beams, which we'll be taking from uh, the town center here. Now, I hear you guys probably are gonna be asking me, which truck will we be taking? Will we be taking, will we be taking the Pay Star or the Fleet Star? Well, the answer is I'm gonna take all the trucks. <laughs> Guys, let me present to you Operation Black Mamba. Now, uh, starting with uh, the Fleet Star, which uh, is already in town. We have decked it out in a huge flatbed. Uh, this, these are the consumables we already took from the farm. Uh, we are decked it with uh, a crane. You know what? Just in case. Just in case. And we will be taking up these metal pipes, which have been here since forever. I know, don't know how they got here, but they've been impeding us uh, whenever we uh, wanted to pick up something from the town hall. So we'll be actually taking the, exactly those metal pipes and shoving them on the Fleet Star's uh, uh, flatbed here, flatbed trailer. And then let's move over to the uh, tunnel here, tunnel to Smithville Dam, and let's uh, fast forward to the Pace Star. Now, the Pace Star itself. Uh, has another crane on it. It has a saddle, a low saddle, so we can pick up the slack in case the Fleet Star uh, and, and some muddled or something. We can actually swap the trailer uh, in between them. And it has a fuel trailer in the back, just in case, you know, because I have no idea where the fuel uh, spots are in the next map. I have absolutely no idea. And just because uh, we're here, and I did say we'll take all the trucks, uh, I'm also going to be taking my Chevrolet CK1500, which we have upgraded and actually uh, stylized. We have stylized old trucks uh, for the occasion, but we have upgraded the um, uh, Chevrolet with uh, mud tires, which handle wonderfully. Um, we have already done some damage to suspension, but we'll be carefully ignoring that. Uh, so this is the convoy. We'll be running a convoy into uh, Smithfield Dam. We'll not be entering Smithfield Dam, we'll be exploding into Smithfield Dam. And that being said, let us switch back over to the Fleet Star. Uh, and let's do some uh, logistics here. Mm. Let's do that. Let's uh, power up the engine so we have access to the crane. Let's pick up these uh, metal pipes, slabs, metal, metal things which are long. Uh, and let's see if we can uh, winch. Okay, uh, I need to raise it. Let's rotate the cargo. Doesn't matter, all good. enough power for this. Let's see if we have enough power for this. There we go. Scrape it. Scrape it right under there. Absolute perfection. Perfect. And I'm sorry about that. Uh, okay, we need about that um, garbage can. Now, uh, escape. Uh, unpack cargo. Pack cargo. There we go. Let's restore the crane. Uh, and actually, it's a good thing because we might need to put uh, the slabs with the other truck. In any case, uh, let's head out. Um, a little bit of note. It's been nice to actually putting this large load on the Fleet Star because you can see some things with it. Even with its... Um, weight, uh, there are some situations where 
basically the front of the truck lifts off just because of the weight in the back in some you know uneven situations so you end up uh, basically with no direction <laughs> Just because the front wheels, which actually offer that direction, do not touch anything else uh, on the ground. It's been also interesting to note how uh, this has, you know, this is hauling ass right now. This is doing a great job here. Um, the Paystar, the off-road truck, they had issues pulling the single oil tanker, which I'm pretty sure it's lighter than the load this is carrying. So for sure, uh, it's fantastic seeing. Um, the Fleet Star actually being the hauler, as opposed to um, as opposed to the Pay Star. Also, what you saw earlier was exactly what I was mentioning that we have some issues uh, actually di uh, moving the truck left and right whenever uh, we end up with a little incline like that, you know, going downwards, which is. Uh, problematic but interesting and we can totally see how amazing the fleet star is pulling this load up here uh, again we i had some issues pulling it with the bait pulling the oil tanker with the base and that's a lighter load i imagine than uh, what we're pulling in right now um, this actually is gonna be enough to come to do two of the tasks from this contract the concrete slabs i think we have a concrete factory because even that we're going uh, to do the met deliver the metal beams to a quarry i assume the quarry also makes concrete slabs so um hopefully we're gonna get it from there and deliver them meanwhile uh we are gonna be pre-scouting with uh chevrolet just to get to lay the land before and we're gonna be fueling both the stars <laughs> Uh, the pay star and the fleet star which i'm uh, currently piloting uh, with the oil tanker fuel tanker from the um, from the pay star i mean this is operation black mamba uh, for the 20th episode of uh, cosmo plays snow runner we're gonna have a bit of uh, fun with this and hopefully no no nothing horrible no Toppling of cars, no falling down in ditches, no uh, getting stuck in mud and com being con completely unable to proceed. Let's hope for the best. This is the first huge operation I've done in uh, in SnowRunner and actually all in any of the series. I don't have uh, much experience in uh, mud runner or spin tires, so uh, let's see how this goes. The only thing I don't have is repairing. Uh, I don't have any repair options, and I thought long and hard maybe I should get uh, the service trailer, and I don't really know why I didn't. I thought maybe it was related to how much fuel it has, because I think it only has 500 liters of fuel, and that's barely enough to cover a full load on both this and uh, the base star. So we're gonna stop here. Let's uh, go back a bit. Uh, turn off the engine uh, and let's move over to the Chevrolet and let's head on over into Smithville okay then Smithville Dam, Michigan, USA Okay, let's head over to the map. Okay, we have a service hub here, which I think provides us re with repairs, which is nice. Uh, now, the deliveries. We are delivering to the quarry, to... So, to the service hub here. Actually, we should, we should be delivering the thing from the quarry, so uh, that's going to be a bit interesting. Oh, well. Uh, either way, we will be delivering to the preacher's house. That's right here. Uh, I'll scout out a bit the road to the service hub with the Chevrolet. Just because we'll need to get there anyway and we also need to repair it because we've took some suspension damage 
uh, off screen when I was delivering the Chevrolet to the tunnel. Now the mud tires on this has have been doing a fantastic job, and you can totally see how poorly they deal on uh, on concrete in terms of traction because they skid all over and can barely get any real traction. I'm using a lot of fuel, I think, right now just because uh, it's skidding more than it's actually gripping the ground. But then again, uh, this is my go to the middle of the mountain, top of the mountain to a uh, scout truck. And there are no roads up there. Take a little break here and have a look. Uh, oh, okay, there's something here. I think this is our garage. This is our secondary garage. Is that? I think it is. I think it is. Let's have a look. Uh, huh, interesting. It's not unlocked yet. Let's uh, go close. I think I think I just have to get on the dial here. Yeah, garage discovered. Perfect. So this is our garage. We already unlocked our uh, spot here. And actually, uh, let's. Uh, you know what? Let's do exactly that. Let's um, repair this. And actually, just leave it here for the moment. Uh, I thought I would get more use out of it, but. Apparently that's not the case. There we go. Uh, now let's uh, let's go back. Uh, how do I do that? <laughs> global map? Yeah, I think global map. Uh, Black River. Perfect. And uh, let's head out with. Uh, should we do it with our support? Yeah, let's do it with um, Paystar. I'm going to be using the pace start to uh, scout out ahead because this is a, uh, the off-road truck, the support truck. And we'll... Uh... Actually, I'm curious whether the trailer actually comes along. I think it should, but I'm curious if there's any issues with that. Okay, I'm going to be skipping this because we already saw it. Perfect. I'm wondering how yeah, because I'm wondering how long if there will be any issues uh, with spawning because basically I don't have enough I don't have enough space behind it. I barely had enough space for the oil tank, let alone for the flatbed. Yes, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Hopefully no issues there. Uh, either way, let's head out to the preacher's house. With the paystar do some uh, aggressive scouting of the land and yeah again I've uh, visually upgraded all of my trucks uh, the base star now has a nice grill in the front there uh, I took stuff more or less for the fo for the function in the form of it <laughs> oh wow <laughs> and we have a fuel station here oh this makes my entire black mamba operation kind of a uh, Kind of a mood point, which makes me a bit sad. But we'll just park this here for the moment. Uh, engine off. And let's get the pay star from the other map. Oh, sorry, the fleet star. Travel to Smithville Dam. Skip the scene. Oh, actually. Hmm. I thought we have some issues there, but we didn't. So let's head out. Deliver like 12 boxes of food, consumables to the preacher's house.
Italy. Hey, uh, did you order some uh, consumables? <laughs> Just parked this in, uh, in the front of his house. Actually, let's also take this task while we're here. Yes, accept it. Stop, cargo management, materials order, that's two of them. Now we just have the metal beams delivered to quarry and that's pretty far away, isn't it? Uh, that's there. Whew. I'm unsure. Um, hmm. Materials order. Concrete slabs, we're taking it from the quarry. Uh, it's a good thing we took the metal beams from home because apparently the warehouse is way far away. Um, okay, now, how are we going to be doing that? We have no idea what's out there, absolutely no idea. So let's uh, let's actually go back to the garage uh, and take our, uh, our Chevrolet. Garage entrance, garage, and let's take this truck and let's just unlock this watchtower here. Get us a bit of vision on the land. Because I honestly have no idea and I don't really want to take that huge, huge trailer uh, out into the land. I think it would have been smart to take, uh, I think, a four-slot trailer. But I, I don't remember if that's a semi-trailer or just a regular trailer. I kind of wanted the semi-trailer. Well, okay, we don't care. All-wheel drive, mud tires. We just swim through that. Didn't even have to go down to low range. Let's have a look here. There's a road, but the road, I don't think it takes us where we want to, but let's follow it still. Let's follow the road for a little while. But this is definitely not a semi trailer, semi truck or trailer road. This is pretty gruesome. So we're definitely not using this road for the payload that we're supposed to be delivering. Is this a road? A viable road? Yeah, this looks roady. Okay, should we take a bit of a left here? Yeah, let's do a left. Let's not climb upwards unless we really, really need to. And there we go. First. Whoa. <laughs> Of course, the tree trunk had something to say about that. Uh, I was gonna say the, the first watchtower is Smithville Dam. Watchtower opened. Hungry workers, more fuel, rock on. I have no idea what I'm stuck on. Probably that tree. Okay, cool. Uh, hmm. Okay, this is a terrible road, but actually, this road over here. Should be pretty good. Well, not pretty good. I mean, it looks muddy as hell and pretty uh, turny. But this looks like a pretty straight patch of solid road. To lead us to quarry. So, if that's an option. Actually, you know what? I can actually go all the way back and use this nice paved road. Well, minus this section. But use that. Nice paper road to go all the way to the quarry. Um, should we just... Yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's uh, continue downwards via this path. Let's uh, cross this stream here. Let's go up here and then let's uh, do this watchtower as well. That will actually show us this little section as well as uh, what's ahead of, ahead of us. That should be just enough vision for us to make a decision regarding what we're going to be doing with um, the payload to the quarry. Because 
we will have to also return to the service uh, hub with concrete slabs. And if you notice my voice just racing there was because my entire truck tilted forward more than I'd like. <laughs> and this is exactly why I bought these tires. Let's have some bit of fun of this. No trees, no winches, just us, low gear, and a straight patch of horrible, horrible, muddy creek bed. Okay, let's try a high low range. There we go. Back to auto. Wow, this is pretty horrid where we'd want to actually transfer any kind of uh, material through here. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I'm actually wondering whether I can uh, do this climb straight up, but I think we're just going to be taking the, the road here for as long as we have it. Drop down to 1 out of 4 and take this slow because this is not pleasant ground. Vroom! <laughs> that is nice. I'm actually really happy with uh, how this handles now. It's fully upgraded. It's doing some serious work for me. Easy there. Okay, do we have any straight routes? Yep, this is the straight route. Looks to me like it's dipping a bit before it goes up. Okay, this should be fine, but let's straighten up. I don't want to climb this sideways. Oh, isn't, isn't this beautiful? Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this beautiful? There we go. Watchtower opened. Find the antenna tower. Threatening accident. Something, something. Upgrade location discovered. Yeah, we'll get on those uh, later on. Hmm. Okay, so this is the actual dam here. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty tight turn to do. And this looks really bad. Eesh. Yeah, pretty ish. Okay, you know what? Yeah, okay, this is what we're gonna be doing because I don't think that this will be a much better route. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. We still have time, and honestly, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a two-parter. So let's do this. Let's get this upgrade while I'm here. Then head back on the road and see this watchtower as well. I mean, uh, it was all fun and games until I saw this little section here, which doesn't look really happy. Where I'd want to take my huge trailer through. Yeah, no. Okay, let's just do some more scouting. Oh, wow, that is me rolling with a handbrake on. Talking about uh, raw power. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. That's what I want from you. Staying upright. Uh, to be fair, um, I, I think I might just drop the, the roof mounted thing has a serious impact, as far as I noticed, on my uh, uh, stability of the vehicle, and it doesn't really add much aside from the fuel itself, which fuel isn't that huge of a concern as long as I know my distances and uh, where I'm supposed to be going and what I'm supposed to be doing. And the wheel itself is just a wheel, I mean, I haven't gotten any punctures yet, but I think it can happen. Um, but so, but it's not any repair points, so I cannot repair like my suspension or engine if that's uh, an issue. So it's not that immediately 
uh, useful. So I think I'd rather have some more stability than have those uh, features. Okay, let's head up here, get that upgrade, whatever it is. Man, this actually hauls ass. Nice. Okay, let's take a break here. Get the upgrade. Engageable. Not available for the current truck. So that's engageable differential for... Oh, for the GMC MH9500, which was the highway truck. Not something we care about. Let's uh, head down. Handbrake off. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take some uh, getting used to making sure the handbrake is actually off once you're actually moving, even with a handbrake on, because of how much power you're putting to the ground. Okay, let's take it easy. This is pretty slanted here. And the car, even like with the wheels and with the suspension and everything, it's gotten pretty bouncy. Compare this to you know the stock car, fish. It's a world of difference. I should probably turn off the all-wheel drive unless I need it. The ground here seems solid enough, but uh, it's really slogging through, so I rather not. The rain, I think, is a bit more difficult than in, uh, in Black River. A lot more, you know, slanty, prone to tipping, and actually this seems to be less navigable than the first, uh, the first map. Okay. Oh, the tower's there. Huh. Oh, okay. So is there a better route up there? Okay, let's try this. I'm not sure if there's an actual road up there, but it looks like on an entirely different peak. So let's uh, carry on forward. Easy, 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 easy. That's what I mean about the terrain being sl more slanty. It feels like most of the terrain in the Black River was relatively straight. Mm, yeah, totally. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do this, let's do this, and let's do it from that point because this is indeed a different peak. But yeah, I was saying, um, Black River felt mostly flat. This the road shifts, uh, well, tilts to the side a lot, at least uh, in this section. So it's a lot more interesting to navigate actually get my uh, money's worth out of the scout truck. Ooh, easy there. Okay, and at this point we should just head on through, full off-road. There's no roads where we're going. Yeah, and before I actually find a road up to the tower, which I uh, completely missed. But well, it's gonna be the first time I'm doing something extremely silly. Lock this. Okay. And we have a full view of the area here. Oh my lord. No. Of all the things I want to do. I and oh my god, there's oh. oh, and this is a free Chevrolet CK1500. Cool. We should probably grab that at some point, but no, for sure, we have guarantee that the path that we should be taken to the quarry, deliver the metal beams, is indeed via this route. However, you know what would be relatively smart for me to do, because, well, I'm going to be returning with uh, two concrete slabs, which is uh, four slots. Um, so let's do this, though. Let's return, let's return, uh, to the garage because we're going to be going down this uh, route anyway. Let's return to the garage with the with the pay star, 
with a sorry fleet star. Let's turn this engine off. Uh, fleet star. Let's turn this around. Which is easier said than done. When you are having this huge, huge, huge trailer. Will I be able to? I think I might be able to with a bit of scraping. Come on, scrape, scrape, scrape. And there we go. Fantastic. You know what we call that? We call that experience. <laughs> so let's return. Let's uh, see if we can get uh, a, a lighter trailer. Uh, one with the first slot, because that first slot is all we're going to be needing. And with the first slot, we can uh, also deliver this. Let's not take more trailer than we need, you know? I'm gonna keep the, the Fleet Star uh, when we're talking about um, large uh, large hulls. And we're gonna keep the small hulls uh, to the um, and small hulls are more risk uh, risk risk yeah risk small hulls with the um, with a paid star. I mean, this does a great job with the all terrain tires. Uh, it's been doing great. It's still one of my favorite trucks, but we uh, really still need to uh, put some love and care into it and use it a bit more. Now, my question is different. My question is whether if I switch a trailer, if uh, the cargo also switches, or does the cargo just go poof? It's not a huge deal. I have a crane. I can only take the uh, metal pipes off of the, um, off the trailer, get a new trailer, and put the map back on. But I'd rather skip the hassle. Either way, I think I'm. Uh, we're gonna be going uh, over uh, on this episode. We're gonna be having a full one-hour episode and uh, doing this entire mission. Ooh, easy there. Let's turn around. That the trailer scraping a bit, but it's all fine. Now, let's see if, um, I think we get a warning, so let's see if uh, it does cargo transfer. Uh, install the nonons of trailers block trailer attachment, okay. Yeah, okay, so we can't do it because it has a cargo on or something? Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, let's be smart, let's do V, attach trailer. Let's position ourselves in a way where the, the spawn trailer would actually be side by side to that. Something like this. Trailer store. Oh, that's cool. You get a little idea of where this would be. Cool. Uh, let's get a ramped flatbed trailer. Okay, this is a 4 1, but it doesn't help us at all, does it? Heavy duty low boy trader. Actually, this is only three. I'm gonna be needing four. Um, okay, is this shorter in any way, shape, or form? I don't think so. Does it have more wheels? It has two sets in the back. It has a set in the front. Yeah, but this is a trailer. This is. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. But you know what? You know what? We don't really need a trailer. We need. We could use a. A normal uh, two slot flatbed trader and I think it would be uh, easier to pull and we get uh, a flatbed and we get the flatbed on this that makes the entire sense so let's get um, uh, actually let's get the cyborg trader just because I think it'd be easier to put the thing into it because this has like those poles there which aren't fun Okay, so let's get the cyborg trailer. There we go. Let's uh, detach that trailer. Let's get the truck over and use the crane to transfer the uh, the cargo. I'm not sure if there's a better way. I don't think so, but let's do that. Here. 
I don't know what's the best position for this, to be honest. But, oh well. V. Uh, activate anchor. Crane mode. Okay. Is this stable? Yeah, I think it's stable. Okay. Let's actually go full up. Oh. Uh, what did you grapple onto? Not what I wanted, I guess. Um, okay. Are you just grappling onto the trailer? Oh! Oh, I think it's... Oh, yeah, right. I think because it's packed, right? Okay, crap. Okay. Uh, let's uh, go back and attach the trailer. Uh, I think because it's packed, I'm actually grappling the trailer, not grappling the cargo itself. So we need to unpack that before we uh, transfer it. Okay, easy there. B, attach trailer, attach trailer. Well, slightly perfect. Uh, let's go unpack cargo and then let's very easily shimmy shimmy and get this a bit closer. I don't think this is recommended, but well. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just leave it here. Uh, v, attach trailer. Let's do this. Let's return this. To be honest, uh, my Black Mamba operation has been slightly underwhelming. I thought uh, we would be... Uh, bit further away from any fuel or um, uh, repair or even the garage itself. I knew we have a garage here somewhere, but I kind of imagined it would be, you know, more in the middle or, you know, further away than the actual entrance. But I guess it's uh, made for, you know, being the first map you exit as a newbie from, uh, from a black river. Uh, it makes kind of sense for it to be slightly easier. I'm not sure if this is the same uh, deal in Russia or Alaska. Anyways, let's raise this. Okay, let's grab this. Okay, now really grabbed properly. Let's raise it with the winch. Okay, that's enough, I think. Is it enough? Yeah, I think that's enough. Rotate this a bit. Let's push this forward. And let's lower it with C, I think. Nope, with V. Yeah, with V. And you know what? I think that's just enough. Drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Perfect. Uh, cool, exit, um, restore crane, and now we should just recover this, uh, recover it from my garage, um, I don't think I'll need a crane, so I sh uh, yeah, actually we need to customize it anyway, so let's uh, remove the crane, I don't think we're going to be needing it, uh, let's put on a sideboard, uh, let's remove the crane itself, Okay, put the cyber on just to make sure it's fine. And there we go. Uh, oops, let's do leave garage. And let's actually uh, let's also uh, we can't. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll uh, I'll sell that uh, trailer late. Uh. <laughs> oh wow! Right. Crap. Okay, uh, we have a problem here. Uh, if you can't see the problem, the problem is that we have the trailer which is on top of the thing. That's a problem. That's what we call in the, in the, in the industry a problem. Now, I'm pretty sure that happened because I forgot to attach, to, you know, pack uh, the thing. And when I reloaded the map, this happened. Uh, let's see if there's an easy fix to this. Oh, gods. Okay, um, okay, <laughs> let's do recover, uh, let's do customize, 
Let's do... Let's get the saddle low, might as well sell it if I'm still the big trailer if we're here. Oh wow, let's do the loading crane. Uh, let's deploy. You know, live and learn I guess. Uh, we're gonna be doing this, we're gonna be uh, getting both of these and selling them. Just so we don't have any problems. Dash trailer. Okay, that's horrible. Okay, that's horrible, but doesn't matter. There's the trailer store and sell it. Okay, perfect. And then let's grapple this. Uh, v. Attach trailer. Okay, let's go a bit back. V. Attach trailer. Uh, C. Semi trailer. Sell. Okay, let me give me a give me a cyborg trailer. Okay, perfect. And uh, you know what? Actually, let's give it a shot. Uh, v, activate anchor, uh, crane mode. Let's see if we can do it without actually switching it around. Uh, attach. Let's raise this upwards. So this goes uh, as a positioning. Then we have R and F. This goes down. R goes up. But this is not exactly lifting it. Do I not have any kind of leverage? Is that the problem here? Okay, let's let's try like this. Do I have more leverage? Yeah, I don't think I have the leverage for it. Cranes are a mystery to me. Okay, let's uh, do what we know works. Restore crane, attach trailer, let's get closer. Or you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what. Like for here, might as well customize. Um, we're gonna be changing this anyway, but let's uh, get the heavy crane. We have the money for it. Let's get the heavy crane. That's fantastic. Okay, let's deploy. None of that uh, tiny little crane there having issues moving things from A to B. Nope, we got the big crane out. The Prof Crane 320. If this has any issues, I'm gonna eat my socks. Okay, space, uh, B, activate anchor. Now that is what we call an anchor. Uh, crane mode. Okay, let's grab this. Oh wow, does it have, does this have a problem? Okay, uh, oh no it doesn't, never mind. Room. I think it just had a, a minimum cutoff for the for the winch. Ooh, come on! Easy does it. Easy does it. Um, okay, wh 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 why is this going right through the trailer? Mm. Okay, this is a problem. <laughs> this is going right through the trailer. Uh. Okay, crap. This is a problem. This is a problem I can't easily solve. I can drop it, but I'm pretty sure it will just go right through. Okay, l let's give the shot. Ugh. Yep, it went right through. This 
this is annoying. This is really annoying. Okay, uh, attach. It's attached the cargo. Okay, sure. Um... Okay, this has enough fuel. Uh, let's return to the garage. We don't have... I think we do have a truck which we haven't used at all. Uh, we have this Navistar. Uh, let's just put this into active, customize it. We actually, it's, it's a normal trailer, right? It's not a semi trailer, so we can just uh, take it as is. Uh, so let's go we'll leave the garage. Wow, this is a big guy. Wow, and it hauls. Okay, all I actually needed from it is. Ugh, oh, okay, shouldn't be a huge issue. Because, uh, I'll have this guy connect to this, but not yet. I'm hoping to cheese the system a bit just to make sure this doesn't, this isn't a, a huge issue. Oh, wow, you have some, some zest to you, don't you? You, you do not do incremental movements. Okay, stop. Okay, perfect. M. Let's go to the Fleet Star. Uh, oh yeah, because the engine turned off, that's why that got dropped. B. Activate. Crane mode. Space. Uh, what did you attach to? Okay, I think you attached to the right thing. Nope, you attached to trailer. That's not what I wanted you to attach to, sadly. Um, this is being more annoying than I thought it would be. Okay, I just drop it, drop it, drop it. Okay, slide off please, as much as you can. Okay, that's that, so let's raise this through the thing. Okay, the camera is horrible, but okay. Do I have a better camera for this? Oh, I do. <laughs> sure. I should have just mentioned that pressing 1 will give you the actual useful crane camera. Okay. That should be enough. So, let's do M. Let's do the Navistar. Uh, let's... Uh... Did that drop it again? Oh, okay, what happened here? Uh, yeah, I think... Wow, that's terrible. That's entirely terrible. Uh, yep, there we go. I think my metal pipes just utterly and completely disappeared into the world. think there's anything much I can do here. Actually, wait, what? I don't even have... I don't even have uh, any crane on my crane. Uh, okay, that's weird. Let's do a restore crane. Does this... Okay, that gave me my crane back, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's somewhere in the world. Ugh. This has been a disappointing uh, ending to the Black Mamba. Okay, let's do recover to this. Uh, let's put the flatbed back on. And let's go back to the Navistar and just put this back in. Really quite disappointing, but oh well, 
the game does have its bugs. The plan is still to use this to get the concrete blocks back. Back to the service hub here. Uh, what I wanted to do earlier, in case you guys didn't catch it, was I was really trying to switch over to the Navistar and then uh, pack uh, pack the um, the metal pipes, which would have totally settled it into the crane, into the sorry, into the trailer itself. And I don't think we'd, I would have any other problem past that point. But apparently the game didn't want me doing that, and I'm not even sure where I should be getting any metal beams. Uh, in this map. Yeah, very far away at the warehouse. Hmm. You know what, guys? Uh, we are almost reaching an hour here, and it will take me a long time to actually uh, do what I need to get done on this. So let's call it uh, a day for the episode. Uh, I'm sorry. I kind of hoped this would have been more uh, exciting than it was, but apparently it wasn't. I was hoping to get all of that done in a single uh, in a single turn, but apparently that's not what happened, because... Are you kidding me? Are you literally, literally, literally kidding me? You, do, you guys do know I'm just gonna give this another shot, right? I swear I, I thought that would be like under the world somewhere, but you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna go over. I'm gonna make this an extra long episode. Might as well get this done. Uh, let's see. Get that trailer. Let's go back. I'm gonna take the big crane. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna be switching uh, vehicles anymore. I'm actually gonna be in the same vehicle, so I can do the packing from the same vehicle without moving, so it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, let's go map. Uh, no, recover. I want to recover. Uh, I can totally take a trailer while also having uh, the big crane, which I'm going to be using the big crane for sure, just for no other issues. Customize. Heavy crane. Perfect. Leave garage. Come on, let's do this. Let's get this solved. Ardo, did the things disappear? <laughs> did the things disappear again? Is the game just mocking me at this point? Okay, attach trailer. Let's do the thing again. Let's get out of the area. Maybe they reappear. Okay, they reappeared. Cool. Okay. Again, I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm really not sure, but as long as my crane can lock onto it and as long as it counts as uh, packing, I'm, I'm just gonna roll with it. Okay, so activate anchor, crane controls. Let's go a bit upwards. Let's grab this. Okay. Let's use the different camera, the more useful camera. Okay. Let's drop it down. Oh, actually, it sits now. Don't question it. Don't question it. Just go pack cargo. Oh, my lord. My lord. Okay, detach trailer. Uh, restore crane. If that's not there, packed when I get back to it, I, well, I'm gonna be ending this episode, but until then, let's V, let's uh, recover. Yes, let's go customize. Uh, let's put on what we wanted to do. We wanted uh, the small loading crane, we wanted the f actually, no, we just wanted the flatbed, right? Yeah, just the flatbed without the, clo without the crane. We shouldn't be needing it. Um, actually, yeah, ok, 
Okay, all fine, all good, perfect. Oh, is it there? Is it there? Hallelujah, praise Jesus. Perfect, amazing, wonderful. Um, but you know what? You know what, guys? Uh, this is going to take me another half an hour for sure. So let's still end the episode here. Let's grapple this. Let's make sure this doesn't go absolutely anywhere. You're mine. Uh, and uh, let's end the episode here. Again, this was the 10th episode anniversary. Quite a lot more exciting and at the same time unexciting. <laughs> Uh, than I was expecting it to be. Um, again, if you like this episode, if you like this series, give a like to the video, subscribe to my channel. We're going to be having a lot more of these uh, later on. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be sticking with uh, SnowRunner for a very long time. Uh, and again, leave a comment. I'll read all your comments and I love reading them. And you know what? I'll see you guys in the next one.